Hello everybody and welcome to my fourth Intermediate Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to carry on going through graphs and what I'm going to do is show you how to create a pie chart um, so very popular type of graph, very visual uh, gives you a very good representation um, so to start off with what I'm going to do is just create a percentage value here so what I need for this is first of all our total uh, of all the ones so that's equal sum and highlight all of these that gives us our total and then it's just a simple case of equals that divided by the total and drop that down and so I've got something wrong here uh, and what I've got wrong is the I haven't stopped this from continuing down um, so if you've watched uh, some of my earlier tutorials I've, sh I've shown you how to stop this uh, it's just a simple case of we don't want the 15 to ever change so let's just put a percent sign before it and now as we drop this down you'll see that we get the percentages fall through um, if they come through as numbers it's because your cells are formatted to general so as when you first write the formula it's probably going to come up like this um, you just format cells, go to percentage and put it as whatever you want then we can use this now in order to create our pie chart so again click on chart select your data first and click on pie and you've got a choice of a few different ones they all do exactly the same thing they just um, they all look slightly different so I'm just going to do your standard pie that's for an example and that's looking good so next and again you can select whether your series are in rows or columns it doesn't make any sense to do your series in rows this time because look at that it's just giving you all in one because it's just taking it all to be a hundred percent and then you can take your um, you can set your series and your name, uh, names on here so we're going to want to select the names we want to go, go and select the months so uh, and that's named the actual whole series that's not what we wanted uh, we wanted to name the categories so let's get rid of that and let's do it in here and then say there we go and then that's given us our months in, our, in the side so let's click on next we're happy with that and let's give it a title so my first pie um, I imagine you've all made pie charts before so let's put in brackets in Excel uh, make sure you don't spell pie right and again you can do whatever you want with the legends Ooh. and you can add on the values on here um, I've used percentages already but with pie charts you've got the option of it showing the percentage for you um, so I'm going to choose value uh, and category name and I'm going to separate them by a, a space and then let's click on next and I'm going to do it as an object within the sheet so when you've got it as an object within the sheet all it's going to do is just give you essentially a picture um, slightly more dynamic than a picture but a picture nevertheless uh, or an object that you can just move around you can resize it um, whatever you want so that's quite useful because then you can have it exactly in line with your data uh, rather than on a completely separate page uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the initial data um, and then put this up here so I've got it all on the screen now what you're probably thinking is well this is a bit horrifically overlapped luckily you can select them and you can move them out 
and give yourself a little bit more breathing room so you can actually read and I don't really want the title so let's get rid of that um, so you th yeah you can move these all around let's make it a bit tidier there we go so now you can read them all so that's a much a lot better uh, you can change the individual points colors um, and yeah so that's how you create a pie chart um, one thing I do want to show you um, before I go into any other types of graphs is just uh, the default colors in Excel um, I don't know about you guys but I, I'm, I'm not a fan um, so what you can do is go to tools and options and color uh, and you can actually um, you can go into your chart fills that are here you'll notice that they match the ones down here and you can actually edit these uh, and you can set them to be any color that you want so let's say you want them to just be a range of reds let's go that one's of red uh, that one's of red and that's the same red so let's not use that let's just do different shades and let's have another red nice and dark and another red a bit lighter and another one let's make a bit orangey and that'll do and you get the idea it just means that all of your default colors on your graph when whenever you create a new one are going to be exactly what you want rather than the default Excel ones that are a little bit gross. Um, the other advantage to having your graph on the page is as you change things you'll literally see them um, literally see them move. So let's say we put 100 in here and the, or 500 in here and you'll see that the whole pie chart cycles around uh, and gives you your your new graph straight away so this is really useful um, so that's it for pie charts hopefully you've managed to create one yourself um, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial